a first in global food prices in 10 years. The hardest fall. The global food price index fell sharply in July. The index has been falling for four consecutive months. Global food prices fell 8.6% to 140.9 in July. Thus, the food price index showed the sharpest monthly decline in the last 10 years in July. This can be a good news or a bad one, we will yet to see what is happening but from the consumer's point of view, we will pay less on the same purchases and you bet this is going to make you happy. According to the report published by the Food and Agriculture Organization of the United Nations, FAO, the global food price index showed the sharpest monthly decline in the last 10 years, with the decline in the prices of basic grains and vegetable oil, which recorded a double-digit decline in July. The index has fallen for the fifth consecutive month since it broke its historical records earlier this year in July, falling 8.6% from last June to 140.9. However, the index, which tracks monthly changes in the prices of the most traded food commodities globally, remained at a level of 13.1% higher than in July 2021. Vegetable oil prices are at the lowest level of the last 10 months. The FAO Vegetable Oil Price Index fell 19.2% in July compared to June, falling to its lowest level in the last 10 months. International prices for all oil types fell as palm oil prices expected ample export opportunities from Indonesia. Palm seed oil responded to expectations for ample supply of new products, and soybean oil prices fell due to prolonged sluggish demand. Grain Corridor Reduced Prices The FAO Global Grain Price Index also fell 11.5% in the month, but this rate was 16.6% higher than July 2021 prices. The decrease in all grain prices represented in the index was led by the 14.5% decline in wheat prices. This decline was partly due to the implementation of the agreement between Ukraine and Russia to remove barriers to grain exports, opening of important black sea ports, and partly to the harvest season in the Northern Hemisphere. Global rice prices also fell for the first time in 2022. Sugar price index decreased by 3.8% on a monthly basis to 112.8 points due to reasons such as concerns about demand, depreciation of the Brazilian currency, and higher than anticipated production in Brazil. Dairy products price index decreased by 2.5% compared to June and fell to 146.4 points. Meat price index, on the other hand, decreased by 0.5% on a monthly basis to 124 points due to the weakening of import demand. Lastly in October 2021, on World Food Day, the United Nations warned that the expected huge increases in food prices would create an unprecedented, catastrophic food security problem. The UN statement states, currently, nearly half a million people live in famine-like conditions in Ethiopia, Madagascar, South Sudan and Yemen. In the last few months, a vulnerable population has started to live in these conditions in Burkina Faso and Nigeria. Every year, October 16 is recognized as World Food Day and awareness studies on food safety are carried out. Even worse, the UN, which estimates that 41 million more people in various countries are at risk of starvation, calls for an immediate aid campaign. According to the estimates of the UK-based charity The Hunger Project, 690 million people in the world live under chronic hunger conditions and 60% of them are women. In addition, 850 million people are at risk of falling below the poverty line due to the impact of COVID-19. In less than a year perhaps we have seen a little improvement for the people to eat cheaper and sustain their lives, let's see what will be in the next year. Thank you for watching. Reading is boring so we will be sharing interesting things about world and life with you. Share, like and subscribe, you know what to do. Leave a comment what you are interested in so we can do an episode about it too.